So, with the release of the Barbie movie in the next few weeks, the movie is set to make anywhere from 50 million to 100 million on opening day. And so, that has left many Thomas fans wondering, well, what about Thomas? We've been speculating for the last two years over this Mark Foster movie, and so far, we've heard basically nothing about it. Now, this isn't anything to get too worried about, since movies take years to make, but it does beg the question, what is the Thomas movie going to be about? Now, Thomas is no stranger to movies. There have been many plans to make big cinematic Thomas movies, such as Magic Railroad, or the World War II movie, or all those specials that made it into cinema. But this new movie that Mattel is developing is going to be different from all of those. It's going to be unlike anything we've seen from the franchise before. So that begs the question, what's it going to be about? There have been many theories swarming around the fandom as to what they are going to do with Thomas, the movie. But the truth of the matter is, we really don't know what the plot of this movie is going to be. It's really a free-for-all for what this could be about. Anything from a nice realistic story about Thomas on the Island of Sodor to a Thomas toy coming to life. Literally anything and everything for this new movie is possible. And that's what kind of worries me. Some people think it's going to be the old World War II Thomas movie. Guys, look. It's been 10 years since that movie's been cancelled. I think we finally need to just accept that it's not coming. Mattel were the people who officially cancelled the movie when they bought Thomas in the first place, so no, sorry to burst your bubble, it's not coming. There's also lots of theories going around that they might be adapting the first few Railway series books, and yeah, I'm not so sure about that, since Mattel already did an adaption of the Railway series book back in 2015 called The Adventure Begins, so no. While I'd love to see an adaption of the Railway series, I don't think this movie will be an adaption of the books. Since Mattel already did that, I think it's very unlikely that they're going to do it again. I think what fans need to understand is that this movie is going to be unlike anything we've seen before from the Thomas franchise. And while that excites me, especially with how dead the franchise has felt for the last few years, it also worries me slightly too. Like, if this movie fails, can the Thomas franchise really handle another Magic Railroad? Since scripts and movies go through so many changes, I wouldn't be surprised surprised if this movie took another five or six years to come out. I know that's not what everyone wants to hear, but hey, it's the truth. And since now is the time when they might be crafting a story and making new scripts, I thought now would be the perfect time to throw my hat into the ring and give some advice to the people over at Mattel making this movie. So, here is some advice that I would give to the people over at Mattel making this movie. Number one, make it about trains. This is a big issue that the Mattel era has had with Thomas. They always seem to treat Thomas as being a steam train, like a hurdle, rather than the actual core appeal of the franchise. People like Thomas because they like trains. So if you're going to make a big Thomas movie that defines the franchise going forward, please think of a plot that is actually relevant to railways and trains. Think of something like the Lego movie. The fact that the Lego movie has all the characters be Lego is actually incredibly relevant to the story, because if you remove that element, then the story wouldn't make any sense. So, when you're doing a movie about railways and trains, it would make sense to have a plot that if you remove the railway, the plot wouldn't make any sense, you know? So, just make a plot that is relevant to trains. Number two, Paddington. Okay, now I'm not just saying Paddington because it's a real-life train station, but I mean Paddington Bear. Paddington is a great example of how to adapt an iconic British franchise. That sort of style of movie is exactly what I think of when I think of Thomas the Movie. Like, it's such a timeless classic movie which appeal to all ages. It's so distinctly British and it just has that style of comedy which I think would be perfect for Thomas. That's exactly what I think of when I think of a big Thomas movie. Number three, Use your heritage. There are so many heritage railways across the UK, many of which have actually featured in the books and show of Thomas, albeit indiscreetly. So many amazing railways and engines that exist in Thomas exist in real life too. And if you're making a Thomas movie and you want to feel inspired, Mattel, just go on a trip to heritage railways, take pictures of the trains there, talk to people at the railways and feel inspired to make stories about them. I know some of you might think I'm crazy for suggesting this, but this is actually actually a really common thing when making movies. Like, fun fact, did you know the people who made Frozen actually went to Norway to get inspired for the architecture of the sets? Or did you know that the people who made The Lion King went to Africa to take pictures of the African safaris to get inspired for the movie? This is actually a really common thing when you're making movies, and I think it'd be better than any mood board that you'd make in Mattel. It makes sense that when you're making a Thomas the Tank Engine movie to take a trip to the UK and feel inspired by the real-life railways that also inspired the person who created Thomas. Number four, 
Thomas isn't a toy. Since Mattel is a toy company, and since they're making movie about their toy characters, I'm very worried that they might think of Thomas as a toy train in the movie. And that's just not true. While yes, Barbie is based on a doll, so it makes sense to have the story about the Barbie doll coming to the human world, Thomas isn't really like that. Thomas isn't a story about a toy train coming to the real world. You know, that's where Magic Railroad went wrong. In the canon of Thomas, he is a real steam engine who exists in the real world. That is the core appeal of the franchise, the idea that you could actually go this real train in the real world. So have your movie be about that. Like when you watch the Mario movie, it feels like you're playing a video game. When you watch the Lego movie, it feels like the Lego in the movie is relevant. When you watch the Barbie movie, it makes sense it's about a Barbie doll. So when you do a Thomas the Tank Engine movie, have it be about real life steam engines on this railway. That's the appeal. And finally, number five, a Thomas consultant. This is also very important, but have at least one person on the writing team or the production crew for this movie be someone who's already somewhat familiar with the franchise. I'm not saying to have them be outright the writer for the project or something, or the director, but at least have them somewhat involved with the creative process. My true recommendations would be Michael White, who actually wrote for the Mattel series before, or Jacob Jarrett, who also worked for Mattel under the TCC and actually did his own fan film of Thomas. And my final recommendation would would be Matt Mashad, who worked for Mattel under TCC and wrote some of the best episodes for that series, in my opinion. So yeah, those are my suggestions for this movie. Make it about trains, have it in the style of the Paddington movie, get inspired by real-life heritage railways, treat Thomas as an actual engine, and have at least one person who understands Thomas as a consultant in the creative process. And bada bing, bada boom, just like that, you might very well have a Thomas hit on your hands. This new Thomas movie could either go really well or really bad. Mattel better not drop the ball on this one because I genuinely think this is the last chance to save the Thomas franchise. Like, if Mattel makes a really good Thomas movie, they could change the whole landscape of how the public perception of what Thomas is. But what do you all think in the comments. I have my own ideas as to what I'd like to see for a feature Thomas movie, but I'd rather not share it just yet, as I don't want to be clouding other people's judgement. But what do you all think? What would you all like to see from Thomas the movie? I'll be reading all your comments down below. Thank you all once again for watching, and I know I said before that my next video was going to be a writer review, uh, but this is just more of a spur of the moment video. But I can guarantee that my next video will be a review on one of the writers from Thomas, but I won't tell you who just yet. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye!